it going? Welcome to my channel. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I have changed my hair again. I do this a lot and you guys will get used to me changing it up all the time. Um, basically because I have really light blonde hair, like white blonde hair, I can just throw whatever color I want in and rock that for a couple of months or a few weeks or whatever I'm feeling and then I'll change it up, wash it out, do a new color kind of thing or I'll just keep it blonde but for the moment it's this really funky turquoise color which I'm really digging and I actually had this color last year as well um, when I went over to LA and Coachella um, and I had it in with hair extensions which was like hectic as but I really love like my little bob with this color I think it looks really awesome and I hope you guys like it too so to get into today's video it's just going to be a bit of a general chit chat a bit of a casual talk of my favorite I am um, tips and tricks I guess you could say to go thrift shopping and basically I want to try and help you guys get better deals and these are sort of the things that I go by when I go to an op shop or a thrift shop um, so first, when I get to the thrift shop, I usually check out the shoe section first, mainly because um, shoes are a bit limited, there isn't um, much option, and especially here in Australia, they usually have like just one shelf or a couple of shelves for shoes, and um, I'm a size 5, so I always struggle trying to find my size, and I'll often have to go into the kids section, which is another tip. Um, but I'll go on to that in a minute. So back to the first tip which I told you which is like yeah go to the shoe check shoe, shoe, Such a tongue twister <laughs> go to the shoe section um, Basically, yeah I mean you want to get in there and you don't want to be walking around like even though it's annoying to like hold the shoes the whole time you don't want to get to the shoe sh like the section at the end I can't even say so shoe section what okay anyway moving on so you don't want to be the last person to get to that section basically because there's only going to be a couple of styles that might fit you and you want to get there first and you want to see if there's any options there for you before anybody else does so I will always make a beeline straight for the shoe section nailed it um yeah and then I'll just carry it with me like who cares I will literally you'll see me like if you ever see me in a thrift shop you'll see me like I'm holding a zillion things things are falling out of my hands but I make shoes a priority because you got to get the best deal and you want to get the steals of the day and um, that moves me on to like my next section where like if I'm in the, in the shoe section and maybe like all the shoes are together like including like the kids wear and all that I will also look into the kids wear because I have size 5 feet which is insanely small like that's an Australian size 5 they're really really small and I fit a kids size 3 and sometimes a 4 like sometimes the 4 in kids in Australian is really big as well but usually I will fit a size 3 so I always check the kids section because I've found so many good pairs of shoes like Converse everything like that in the kids section so I'll also check that area so if you have small shoes like me like small feet I mean <laughs> jeez small feet like me then definitely go to the shoes section like the kids shoe section it's good trust me and then what I usually do after going through those areas is I will go through the women's area go through all the blouses everything like that I literally like grab um, like when I come up to a rail I'll like look at every single item and I'll do it really quickly and just look at every item because like there's always going to be something tucked in between something else like especially if it's like a spaghetti strap top or it might be a printed t-shirt um, there could be something you love that's been blocked out by something else so I literally look at every single item and look at it and check the front check if there's any pictures on the shirts that I like that kind of thing um, yeah and I'll just do that like it takes a much longer time but it's worth um, spending like you know going through it like you drove to the thrift shop for a reason don't not look properly you know and so yeah so I'll do that so I'll literally go through everything every single color everything like that and um, that will probably like take me like a good hour but literally it's worth it and then I'll do that in the dresses section as well and the skirt section and something that I always do as well is just like um, I always check the sizes before my size and the sizes after my size so say I'm a size 10 at the moment I will go through the size 8s and I will also go through the size 12s because there's going to be a lot of different brands um, that make the sizes differently so like here in Australia for example a lot of brands like Seed, Witchery, um, all those kinds of ones, Saba, everything like that 
their size eights are going to be basically a size 10. So in those brands, I wear a size eight. So if the thrift shop was to look at those, they would put those into like just a regular size eight section without realizing that they're actually probably too big for like your general size eight. So I will literally go through every single section. And then same with the 12s, like if you're looking for something oversized or something like an oversized jacket, then obviously you're going to go through the 12s and get that oversized style that you like. And I also find like sometimes the sizes, even though they are like specifically set out, they might be like a crossover or somebody's grabbed something and put it in the eight section or vice versa. And sometimes I'll even go through the size sixes as well and just have a look. Cause sometimes like in a brand, a size six shirt might fit me really well. Um, just by, I can kind of just tell just by holding it up and looking at the item if it's going to fit me or not. But yeah, so I would just say like, just be open to, looking at sizes that aren't necessarily your size and and um, yeah so not just going straight to the 10 section because if you do that you're not going to find anything and then moving on from that I would say as well like if you're quite a small petite person like I am I always check out the kids section so I'll go through like probably from size 12 to 16 in the kids section I'll have a look through there and see if I can find anything in there um, in Australia, like the kids sections aren't that amazing, so you don't really have much option, but I'll still look through there anyway because a few times I've found like a really cute, um, you know, like a really cute crop toppy kind of thing, or there might be a jacket or something in there that I like, or they might have like tracksuit pants or something that I will really like and I can squeeze into those sizes, so why not open myself up to that window of finding more bargains, you know? Why would I, yeah, just cut myself off, basically. I'm going to search everywhere. And another thing that I want to touch on as well, um, I'm not really going through any kind of order or number system here with my tips. I'm just kind of throwing them out as I think about them. But another thing I always do is I always look through the men's section. Like, um, for oversized jackets and everything like that, you're going to find a lot in the men's section. And I find a lot of my oversized t-shirts that I love to like crop or tuck into a skirt or something. I love to find those in the men's section because they have a lot of funky designs that I really like. And, um, yeah, like, and you can find like sportswear and everything like that. Like, um, they will have everything in there. And if they have size small in men's, that's usually going to fit like a size 10 in women's. So I always go through that and make sure I check through the jackets as well in the men's section. And I even check out the shoes, like I'll just have a glance at the shoes and see if there's anything that I really like just or anything that catches my eye. Because you never know when they're gonna put like a wrong size like Converse or Van into the men's section. That might actually be women's or it might be like young boys and like kids stuff. So, you know, you just really have to look everywhere. Like look from top to bottom of the thrift store, look everywhere because you never know what you're going to find. So you just have to be open basically. Like that's my best um, tips. Like every, all of my friends always ask me like how you find all these cool things. But when I go to the op shop, I don't find anything. And then I just literally say like, you literally have to be prepared to turn the shop from top to bottom, look through everywhere and be open to things that you wouldn't normally be open to. Like, you know, people get offended that they have to might they might have to like size up or something and something. But literally at the thrift shop because things are vintage as well, they're made from back in the day, so their sizes might be a bit different to the current sizes these days. And you know, they're just made a lot smaller from back in the day, so you just have to be open to like maybe wearing a twelve when you usually attend, that kind of thing. Um and then my other tips is just like I like the biggest tip that I can give is that you really have to dedicate the time like you have to go at least once a week to your local thrift like thrift shops and check out the stock because they update it every week and if you want to get the best stuff you have to get there on the day that they are bringing everything in or um, yeah so you can just ask your local thrift store like what days do they get all the stock in and then you literally want to go in like the day of or the day after and get on your stock because it will literally surprise you. Like I go to one thrift store that's right near my work and I bypass it every, like um, every day. So I stop there once a week and I am literally surprised at how much new stuff I find every single week. Like it changes that much. So you need to be committed to finding a bargain. Like you need to dedicate, go there. If you don't find anything one time, don't fully block off that thrift shop forever. Um, it just means like maybe all the best stuff has been taken earlier on so then try the next week and then you'll probably have a bit more luck like it's 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 just like that it's just the luck of the draw basically you just have to have like the thrifting luck 
and just be hopeful that you're going to find something. And that's basically like all of the tips that I can give you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to hearing any stories or anything like if you go through shopping and these tips helped you, make sure to write them down in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. See you later. And don't forget to subscribe to me please because I'm literally going to put 110% into my YouTube channel this year. Like that is my... Um, New Year's resolution is to just put as much as I can into this channel because I really love doing it and it's a really great hobby and yeah I just really love connecting with you guys on this level. So see you guys later.